among the 1,000 students that we have in our school, there are approximately 40% with a migrational background. And my most important message, first of all, I would like to say is probably to realize that this is challenging. Appreciation of diversity and inclusive education is nothing uh, that happens automatically. And uh, appreciating diversity also is not, at least in my opinion, uh, massively in the genes of humans. Um, at the same time, the school plays an important role and in my opinion also a central societal role in uh, making this inevitable, uninevitable challenge uh, possible. It, it uh, gives the students a protected environment to form uh, their identity, which has become much more difficult in uh, times of globalization. When you have a foreign student, every mind change, especially my little kids. Um, they, have, they don't have enough money to travel abroad. So um, when a foreign student comes to our school, everything changed for them. I mean, the culture, the experiences and everything. The students in the classroom have noticed that these international students may be perfect in English, but they have great difficulty speaking French. That way, they notice that everybody has difficulties in something, at some level. And there has been a great exchange going on in the classroom. The foreign students helped the French students with the English, and the French students helped the foreign students with the French. So it was beneficial for everybody. And it also made the French students discover various places in the world that they had never even thought might have existed or they might probably never travel to, but they had the chance to have them at arm's length in the classroom. Uh, and other foreign languages also became um, more interesting for, for our students. And you can see them talking outside the classroom, so it, it has been wonderful. Um, what I find to be very important and very helpful in this respect actually is ex to have exchange students at the school because they are in a different position than the students that come from migrational backgrounds and that live there. They are forced to adapt and adjust in a certain way and at the same time to, uh, to balance this out with the cultural identity of their background family. And uh, that's a totally different situation with exchange students. They can be very, very helpful to uh, actually make, the, uh, make this an issue. Me having these students in my English class was an interesting challenge because I had to be top level. I could not make any mistakes. And I had to adapt to these students as well for them not to be bored in my class which meant that I gave them special work to do to make them also feel special so that they could continue keeping their level of English that they had brought with them to France. I found this experience interesting also as a host mother because I had my own host children in my class, which made the host children see me on a different level from a different angle. I was an exchange student in the United States in 2012 and 2013. And right now I work as a teacher and as a junior lecturer at the University of Tartu. And during this World's Teachers Day, I can't help but think back on all the teachers I had in the United States and a few come to mind. And the ones I would like to point out were my English teacher, Mrs. Hulse, my um, teacher, Mr. Todd, who really knew how to create this learning environment that was at the same time safe and fun, but also academically challenging. And Mr. Eslick, who was my history teacher and who knew how to connect different subjects into this big concept and that really like made you analyze things more deeply. So when I think back on my experiences, I, I can really see how a lot of what I know about teaching and what I believe in when I am teaching comes from my exchange here. Uh, already 10 years ago, I went on my exchange to Germany and right now I work as a teacher. Uh, when I went on my exchange, what I really learned was creativity and independence and who helped me the most during those times was my German art teacher, Frau Maya. She was a really supportive teacher and even though we didn't really speak the same language, we connected through art and the creative process and it was a really fun and cool experience uh, during my time in Germany.
So during this time of uh, Teachers Day, I would like to greet all of the teachers who are connected with YFU in one way or another. Thank you so much for your work.